The current customer channels within deep water are evolve around cost, uh, production rates over time, like basically the decline curve for production, and the challenge in going to what we you, what you would call frontier drilling in, in deep water. So the conventional deep water well that doesn't really exist anymore. You're going to either ultra deep water where the water depth is, is much deeper and hence uh, the formation properties, whether it's the pore pressures and frag gradients and, and so on are much narrower, or you're going to the new area of deep water, which is a high temperature, high pressure drilling in deep water. And now you're dealing with much higher temperatures and pressures than, than you're typically used to in deep water. These two are like basically hitting, you know, north and south from, from a complete departure from the typical deep water drilling today. And they, they have very unique challenges, each one of them. For the for ultra deep water, you have to be able to manage low density fluids and you have to be able to manage losses and be able to anticipate losses much faster than a typical scenario because I mean the occurrences are going to be more frequent and more higher if you don't manage the fluids properly. And on the HTHP side of, of deep water, the idea is how do you maintain a flat rheological pro profile for the drilling fluid over a much broader uh, temperature and pressure. So when you look at the challenges, one is to be able to partner with a customer in analyzing offset wells, planning a complete strategy around loss circulation. Two is uh, from a cost perspective, taking the cost out of the process, where can you be economical without really sacrificing performance? I mean, deep water f fluids have always been uh, more uh, exotic, more complex, more uh, costly than, than typical conventional fluids. So the idea is to be able to deliver fluids that match and, and exceed the expectations for uh, deep water drilling without really going over the over the top with cost. So that's one piece of it. The other part of the cost equation is production, right? So New Park have a complete uh, offering of uh, drilling and completion fluids. So you're, you're using the drilling fluids, you're, you're able to drill faster using the analytics and the modeling software. You're able to predict hole cleaning, any kind of challenges that happen while drilling. And when you do the handoff to the completion fluid, you're actually able to leverage uh, solutions like clear depth to basically fast track the displacement, make it take as short of time of possible as possible. And at the same time, maximize the efficiency of that displacement, minimizing contamination and so on. And once you're in the reservoir as well, you, you, you can actually use one of the solutions to for longer term production is using the right reservoir drilling fluid and leveraging technologies like breakers and so on that's typically been not utilized enough in areas like the Gulf of Mexico for the completion design. And I think operators, at least in deep water Gulf of Mexico, are moving towards more open hole completions and breakers and so on. New Park can help deep water operators with the challenges such as uh, anticipating loss circulation by putting full loss circulation strategies designed from uh, what's the first pill to pump when you encounter losses all the way to well bore strengthening or preventing losses from happening. So the idea is when it comes to addressing loss circulation from a customer perspective is really prevention rather than mitigation. You want to start there. And if losses actually take place, then you're able to cure them much faster without sacrificing a lot of the fluid volume. So that's one of the key challenges, right? Loss circulation. The next challenge is cost and how do you partner with a customer to take cost out of the equation. And cost for deep water is really not just drilling cost. It's, it's uh, non-productive time, flat time, or what we would call invisible lo uh, loss time. And the idea is on average, you're drilling 10 to 15% on bottom drilling in deep water. The rest of the time is stripping. So when you look at something like clear track, you can help the customer trip faster in, into the well bore or out of the well bore without surging the well bore and inducing losses or without swabbing the well and creating like a flow, for example. So that's uh, one, one of the other solutions we can leverage for deep water is uh, clear depth. 
So again, looking at the efficiencies that you can deliver to deep water to enhance customers' performance and improve their experience would be uh, clear depth and, and displacements, minimizing the time it takes to displace the wellbore from a drilling fluid to a reservoir drilling fluid or a completion fluid, minimizing interface volumes and making sure that this is done as economic as possible without sacrificing any metrics or any performance for this uh, operation. And the last part is really around the long-term, you know, production of the wellbore itself or the reservoir. And the idea here is to use the appropriate uh, reservoir drilling fluid and breakers if, if needed in an open hole completion scenario. And we do have a full suite of, of reservoir drilling fluids, breakers, uh, solutions and so on that you can use in the wellbore. And these also, what's typically missed is the proper placement in the wellbore because it's a very small volume across a very small section of the wellbore. So to be able to accurately place these in the wellbore, you would also utilize uh, clear depth, predicting exactly where the volumes are and where it needs to be and so on, and, and kind of anticipating any problems before they happen. Mm -hmm.